Hey guys, it's Tiffany. What is freaking up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys are old, hello. Welcome freaking back. So, in today's video, I am doing something completely different. And today, I'm challenging myself to start my own online clothing business where I'm going to be selling my old vintage clothing. So, the first seven days of my store, anything that I sell, I'm going to donate to Feeding America. I wanted to inspire you guys with this video because if I can make my own clothing business in 24 hours, so can you. I know that I have the luxury of having an audience, so for me to sell items, it's a lot easier. But I just want to inspire the next generation of entrepreneurs because for me my entire family we're a family full of entrepreneurs a lot of my family members own their own businesses so I want you guys to also start your own businesses because it's so fulfilling working for yourself so it is currently 104 p.m. Thursday April 23rd and I want to have this website up and running and ready to go by Friday 1 p.m. April 24th so we have less than 24 hours let's get freaking started Woo! let's go as you guys know I got rid of 200 pieces of clothing in my wardrobe now those are gonna be the products I am selling normally if you have a business plan you want to do something a little bit different everyone sells their old clothing but that's the product I have on hand that's the only thing I have on hand to sell let me just show you guys my products here are my products I have so many pieces of clothing that are so freaking cute that I want to get rid of now I want to get at least 50 pieces of items online so right now I'm gonna pick the prettiest pieces that I want to put on my store p.s yes my freaking hoarding room has turned into a hoarding room again i don't know what happened i cleaned out my closet and then all of my clothes ended up in this room i just need a better system of organizing everything Ooh, this is cute this is a piece from top shop I actually only worn this once okay this is another great piece that i have from h&m this is another piece i only wore once another piece from top shop that i think you guys will love and i still have a tag on it and this was $95. This piece is brand new. This is from House of Harlow. Literally still has a tag on it. $98. Oh yeah, here is another Topshop Peacoat jacket, but this guy was $110. Oh yes, this guy is from Revolve. This piece is still brand freaking new. Oh my god, I have so many good memories in this. I actually wore this to my very first Coachella ever six years ago. Okay, that is 17 pieces total. I have another 33 to find. Oh my god, this room is a mess. So now that you guys saw my products, the next thing I need to do is make sure you guys see my products on my online store. Since it's daytime out, I need to take really pretty photos of all of my products. So I just set up my little photo shoot area. I decided to do it in the kitchen because it had these really high shelves that I can hang my actual bed sheet from. I have my camera right here. So I have my camera set up so it also uses this remote control. So if I push it, it's gonna take a bunch of photos. We are getting rid of this jacket. This one's actually brand new. This was from Live and Jess. Okay, these photos are turning out so freaking cute. They're so freaking cute. So I'm making sure to take a photo from the front, the side, and the back. So you guys can see every angle. I'm gonna take another butt one because I was flexing my butt too much. Much better ass photo. Next dress. Hello. All right, next dress. Here's the next dress. Day here I'm officially done taking all the photos of the clothes now I need to take photos of some of the shoes that I'm also going to be selling online so I need to do that this has been such a process it's already 4 30 
so here are some of the shoes that I'm putting online. These are the cutest Hello Kitty Pumas. Unfortunately, they don't fit me. I wish they did. Then I have these Puma slides, also brand new. Then I have these ASOS shoes, Reformation shoes, Nine West shoes, and Timberlands. A lot of you guys randomly commented on my video saying you guys wanted these Timberlands, even though I have paint all over them. So I figured I would just sell it at a really big discount. But I've only worn these babies once, and it made me so sad that I got paint all over them. Hi, guys. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is come up with our website name. I want MissTiffanyMall.com only because I want to start my own blog in the future. So since this actual website slash business isn't going to be a permanent business, I might as well just have the website URL. I keep telling myself that I want to start my own blog. I also want to start my own podcast. That is something I've been talking about for over a year and I haven't told you guys about it because I was scared to speak it out in the world. But I think if I just speak it out, out in the world it'll happen hopefully by the end of 2020 so I am gonna get my website URL from godaddy.com so I'm just gonna use godaddy only because I've used them in the past I will say though sometimes they're a little iffy like they've charged me double multiple times just make sure that you are looking over your account every single time they charge you for something just be careful we're gonna get miss tiffanymod.com She is available. Oh, 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 oh. What? You're so silly. Okay, MissTiffanyMod.com is available. Honestly, I was kind of scared that someone would take it, although not cool enough for someone to try to steal my name. Look at this. It is $11.99. I know Squarespace also sells website names, so I'm gonna double check if Squarespace is cheaper, but I'm pretty sure GoDaddy's pretty inexpensive. If you're starting a business, you always wanna make sure you're getting the best prices. So I'm just gonna double check a couple of websites, but I'm pretty sure GoDaddy is the cheapest one, but I still wanna check. Okay, Squarespace is $20 a year. I'm just gonna buy my domain on godaddy.com. All right, we're about to get it. So I am gonna get a privacy protection. If you guys are buying your own domains, make sure you guys use privacy protection because if you don't, your full address, all your information is public information because buying a domain is public. So you have to have some sort of privacy protection. I am just gonna get the basic $10 one. Okay, so I looked online for GoDaddy coupon codes and I found one that is CJC Honey 99, which means I get my first year for just $5, which is super amazing because I just saved myself six dollars so yeah make sure you guys are always looking for coupon codes yay i just bought my website i paid fifteen dollars and sixteen cents for it and this is the privacy thing that i had just purchased so whenever someone looks up the reference for miss tiffanymod.com you're gonna see godaddy.com instead of my actual personal information okay so now that i have my domain name i need to actually start my website so there are a couple of options the two biggest options are squarespace and shopify i've heard amazing things about Squarespace. It's supposed to be really, really beautiful. The templates are really easy to use. However, they're not very much e-commerce based. Shopify is more the e-commerce route. If you want to start your own website, but you want it to be more of a blog-esque style, then use Squarespace. They do have e-commerce. They're just not as advanced as Shopify. Plus, I have my own personal experience with Shopify because I started my own clothing brand, Live in Jess, three years ago. So I know how to use Shopify. And I believe Shopify also has a free free trial right now that is gonna be three months long because of the coronavirus. That's what I've heard. Versus Squarespace is only two weeks, so I just want my three months free trial. Oh yeah, right here. Due to the impact of COVID-19, Shopify is offering an extended nine day free trial. Yo. Shopify is literally $30 a month. Let me just show you guys their pricing just so you can see how much the 90 day free trial is worth. So you have the basic Shopify plan, the Shopify and advanced Shopify. I personally think basic Shopify is really good if you're just starting out. I actually had Shopify for Live and Jess. That's because the Shopify that's $80 a month, it also includes gift cards. But right now, since I'm just selling used vintage clothing, I don't need gift cards. I'm just gonna use the cheapest option. The only pros to the $300 one is that you have advanced reports and I feel like most people aren't going to need advanced reports. Also, the pros and cons for every single pricing level is the shipping discount. Ah, we're 
creating the store. Create my store, yay. We're doing it, we're doing it. Okay, so it says my trial just started and I need to select a plan. Honestly, I might just use the most expensive one since it is free for the next three months and that's gonna mean I'll get the best credit card rates. So the basic plan, you have to pay 2.9% in credit card rates versus 2.6% versus 2.4%. Since it is free for three whole freaking months, I might as well save that 0.2% baby. And I also get the best shipping discount, so might as well do this. So I'm gonna choose this plan. I'm gonna have to make sure that I actually cancel it. By the way, if you believe that your business is gonna stay in business for a really long time, I would highly, highly suggest actually going this option, which is buying three years. I actually think I prepaid Live and Jess's Shopify every year, so I would save 10%. Also, if you pay for three years and then you decide to cancel after two years, you actually get a refund. Shopify is really good about refunding you. I literally have until July 22nd, 2020 to cancel this account, so I'm gonna make sure I put a little calendar reminder on my phone. So right now I'm gonna add my domain. Okay. All I had to do was click the button that said logging to GoDaddy. This is so easy. All you do is you just push connect and it connects. Yay! Okay, so now I'm officially into Shopify and we have a connection. All right, now let's put in MissTiffanyMaw.com. Woo! We are officially live with Shopify. This just says Miss Tiffany Ma is coming soon. This shop will be powered by Shopify. So now I know my domain is connected with Shopify. All right, so next comes the fun part. I am going to be customizing my website. I'm gonna give myself a two hour time limit. And in those two hours, I'm gonna get this website up and running. So I figured out I should actually edit all of my photos in Lightroom first. Okay, little update here. I decided to move on the couch because it's a lot more comfortable. I am still editing my photos. I haven't edited photos in Lightroom in such a freaking long time that I honestly forgot how to use it on my desktop computer. I also ended up having to re-download it. That is $10 a month for Photoshop and Lightroom. And honestly, you can share your logins with other people. So if you have a friend who also has Lightroom, go ask her. Right, guys a little update here it is currently 10 p.m i am so tired but i finally finished editing all of my photos that took so long that was 50 different pieces i had to edit i wanted to show you guys what they look like now that they're edited okay so this is what the edited photo looks like and this is what it looks like originally it's just a lot darker, so I just added a preset of mine. Okay, so the next step right now is I'm gonna add all these photos onto my actual website. So I'm gonna start putting products up online, which is crazy, holy cow. I feel like for me to get to this point when I was doing Live and Jess, it took me at least two and a half months for me to even start putting products up online. So it's crazy that I'm doing all of this in 24 hours, and I just hope that this makes you guys realize that it's so easy to do this. If you guys have been wanting to start your own store, go sell it. It might be a hobby or it might turn into a real business, but you'll never know unless you actually try. So now I'm gonna add all my products onto my Shopify and do little descriptions of everything. Hey guys, it is currently the next day right now. Last night I went to bed so freaking late. I was up till 5 a.m. So right now what I need to do is I need to purchase all of my product supplies. I definitely need to have packing supplies and shipping labels and things like that. There are actually two websites I like to use to buy shipping supplies. There's Uline.com and Upackandship.com. Uline is definitely more for larger businesses um, and their packaging is very, very basic. So you can get really cheap packaging for for really, really low prices. You pack and ship is definitely more designer packaging. They just have cuter stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys the difference right now. If you guys are gonna be running your own businesses, I highly suggest using these two websites instead of using amazon.com. However, Amazon is definitely more efficient because you get your stuff faster. Okay, so this is you pack and ship, and I just wanna show you guys their poly mailers. Their poly mailers are so freaking cute. However, they're always freaking sold out, which is probably the most annoying thing about them, and they're pretty inexpensive. This 
is a 10 inch by 13 inch poly mailer, which pretty much fits like a small sweater. And for a pack of 25, it's $4. But then if you get a pack of 200, it's only $13. And a pack of 1,000 is $60. So that's pretty much six cents a piece. When normally on Amazon, this would probably be about 25 cents per piece. So this is you pack and ship. So this is uline.com. This is definitely more of commercial businesses. So they have so many items. They have boxes, poly mailers, tape, shipping supplies. They even have furniture pieces for your warehouse. Okay, so this is what I have in my shopping cart right now. I have these 10 by 13 mailers that are in this really pretty rose print. So I have 100 of those. And then I have a 14 by 17 inch poly mailer as well in the same rose color. I actually use these same ones for Live and Jazz. And then I'm using the Dymo Direct Thermal Label. So I have a Dymo printer. If you guys don't have one of these thermal printers, they are amazing because they don't use ink or toner. So it's a lot more convenient, but you do have to keep repurchasing these labels, although they are kind of expensive. They're so much more expensive on Amazon. And on here, they're only $5.50 per roll. And the more rolls you get, the cheaper they are as well. In total, that is gonna be $23.48. However, what sucks is that their shipping fee is $8.95. It's kind of expensive, but it's a lot cheaper actually buying it on you pack and ship and paying for shipping than it is to buy it on Amazon. So I just bought everything and it came out to be $33. Okay, so now that I have bought all of my shipping supplies and everything like that, I need to finally get my website in order. And last night I spent five hours just uploading all of my photos onto my Shopify account. So I have two hours, just two hours to recrop my photos, upload them online, and then figure out my website and figure out my theme. So not looking forward to this, but let's do it. So I finally just uploaded all of the photos. That took almost an hour. So right now we're gonna start working on my online store. What's really cool about Shopify is that they already have templates for you. I believe Debut is their like most popular template. I just tried to use Brooklyn and I didn't like it at all. So I think I'm gonna make Debut my current theme instead because I like it a lot more. But we're just gonna do a little fast forward of everything I'm working on so you guys can see how easy it is. I literally have my website completely done. Now it's nowhere close to being perfect, but it's pretty damn perfect. I am so happy with it. I cannot believe I started my own website and business within 24 freaking hours. Honestly, it was a lot of work. It was probably 17 or 18 hours worth of work, but totally freaking worth it. You guys ready to see this? Okay, so I currently have a password on this website. So if I disable this password, that means my website is officially live. And that is what we're gonna do, baby. But look, we're officially live! Holy cow, I haven't told any of you guys about this. So now that we are officially live, let's put in MissTiffanyMod.com and see what happens. <gasps> We are live. So this is what my website looks like. I use the theme debut, which is the default theme that everybody gets. So this is a free theme. And I figured I would mess around with this theme so you guys can see what you guys can do with it. And it was just super easy and simple to do. And everyone who spends over $100 will get free US shipping. Unfortunately, I'm only shipping out to my US babes and Canadian babes because I don't know how many times I used to ship out Live and Jess products to the UK or to other countries around the world and there'll be something bad that happens with the packages and I just feel so bad that it's so expensive. I don't want any of you guys to be disappointed and then get mad at me about it so I'm sorry I know it really sucks. All right so like I said this is my front page so you scroll down and I just have a little text right here that says gently worn forever loved because I honestly love all these pieces and now that I took cute pictures of them I honestly don't want to sell half of it so I know you guys are gonna love it as well. So if you guys read some of these names I actually made up these names. This is make lemonade 
dress because there's lemons on it. Wrapped in roses dress because there's roses on it. Twin tied mustard romper. I don't know. I was just trying to be really creative with my names. I also wanted to give out really good descriptions. So this one is this brand new Urban Outfitters romper has never been worn and still has tags attached. Made from a soft velvet material with double front ties so you can dance all night long and never worry about your clothes falling off. I just wanted to make sure I had good descriptions. I also wanted to give you guys my height and weight so you guys can use me for reference because you always want to reference your model. I am a little shorty. I'm very petite. A lot of my petite girls, y'all are in luck. And then I also made sure that I had a lot of options for photos. And then up here I have my home navigation. So I wanted to make sure you guys can shop the store by brand new items. Most of these brand new items have tags on it. Some of them don't because I accidentally cut them off. Then I have gently used. And then I have tops, coats, dresses, accessories, shoes, and shop by brand. So these are all the brands that I have that I am selling. And then on top of here, I just have a little header that says all proceeds from purchases made till April 30th will be donated to Feeding America in response to the COVID-19 crisis. I cannot believe I just started my own online clothing business in freaking 24 hours. And I just hope this video inspires you guys and shows you guys how easy it is to start your own website. If you guys want to start selling things, this is literally the perfect time to do it. Go freaking start. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I love you guys so much. If you guys made it to the end of the video, I want to know. So comment down below, what was the last store you shopped at? I'm really curious and I want to like all of you guys' comments. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what other video or business video ideas you guys want me to do. I really freaking loved making this video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye. Hey, you the best part of every single day. Oh, no matter what I do, I'll be lost in you.